Hello and welcome back, I'm Marcus from Insect Governance and in today's video we're just going to have a little discussion about what is cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is a term that is used to define the security of devices while they are connected to the internet. Now the aim of cybersecurity is to reduce the overall risk of targeted cyber attacks against all types of devices as well as protecting the user and the business against any type of unauthorised exploitation of systems, networks and technologies. Now what makes cybersecurity important? Cybersecurity is important because the implementation of security is now more important as ever as more and more devices are being connected to the internet. And as though all these devices connect to the internet, they form the basis of modern life. So from mobile phones to smart devices such as uh, your smart speakers, your TVs, your fridges and even your computers. Every device which has internet connectivity is potentially at risk from some form of cyber attack. Imagine the chaos and difficulty of performing every day of life without having access to the internet. What would you do if you couldn't log on to check your emails, go onto Facebook, go onto Twitter or any type of social media? Now cyber attacks can come in many different forms. Uh, attacks can come from things such as uh, phishing emails which try and trick you into clicking on malicious links and appear to be from a, a well-known company such as your bank to malware being downloaded from websites onto your devices to viruses which are being uh, infected your computers and your systems uh, all the way down to ransomware which could go and encrypt your computer or your device and then actually uh, ransom you to pay x amount of money to get all the information back which you may or may not get your money back for that so what are the challenges well, when it comes to the protection of devices, there are many challenges, especially for large organisations. Now, having to manage, log and protect against all sorts of threats can be a massive project in its own right. Companies need to ensure that you're not only protecting against the external and board systems, but internal systems are also secured against any threat which may be brought in by a member of staff. People and businesses need to be wary of these types of attacks which may be targeted at them. Attackers may be patient, they can wait as long as they like, as long as they can get the information at the end you know time isn't normally important to them they can just sit back wait and slowly start getting all the information in and then when the time's right go in attack fire get the information bring it back out now because of this sort of threats um, awareness training should be provided to help minimize the potential chances of compromise to a business the weakest link in a business is usually the end user now with the increase of bringing your own devices or BYOD and people working from home the chances of compromise can increase dramatically as computers are not connected to the office networks as much. This means that computers are not patched as much, data is not backed up as much, and sometimes not even tested for recovery. Now this is where frameworks such as ISO 27001 and cyber certification schemes such as cyber essentials can come into play to help your business. Where ISO 27001 concentrates on building a framework for the security of information, cyber essentials con concentrates on the basics of cyber security ensuring that companies have the basics in place. Now, how do you protect yourself from cyber, cyber security and cyber attacks? Well, you can protect yourself against cyber attacks in several ways. The main ways are by ensuring that you have uh, the following enabled or configured. Now, the main first one I would say is firewalls. Ensuring that you use and have a firewall in place is like locking the, your front door at the entrance of your house. Without having a firewall on your computer, if you have this open to your environment, Pretty much anyone from the internet can come in, open the door and go straight through into your computer. By enabling a firewall, which comes by default these days on all operating systems and devices, you're essentially just blocking off access to anyone getting access to your machine. Yes, it might not stop everyone, but you know it's a good solution. You know It's there, it's free, it's there by default. You might as well enable it. Passwords, next. Passwords are the keys to your identity. You should always ensure that using a strong, unique password that are at least eight characters in length and are made up of uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and special characters. Now, ideally, you should be using a password that is completely unique to every single site that you access. So if these sites get uh, breached or compromised, you're only getting losing access to that one site and you don't have to go and potentially have a breach against all these sites that you use. Now, I would recommend using a password manager. Password manager allows you to create a, a unique password, which is um, randomized completely and it actually stores it in the password manager vault for itself. So when you go to a website, you can log in, you can get the information from the password manager and it logs you straight in so you don't have to actually remember that password. Now, alongside passwords, you should also ensure that you're using 2FA or two-factor authentication or even sometimes known as multi-factor authentication. Enabling 2FA or multi-factor authentication allows you to add that extra layer of security to your passwords so if someone does actually get your password, 
they still need this extra layer of authentication to get into your site. So it's just that extra bit of reassurance and uh, security. Now, after that, I would recommend putting patching in place. Applying patches to your devices is one of the easiest things you can do. It ensures that you're getting protected against any security threats uh, that are being made available to the operating system or any devices. It also helps you um, recover or be safeguarded against any bugs or any issues like that. Now by ensuring that you've applied all your security uh, on your operating system as soon as possible, this will ensure that any security vulnerabilities are... Now not only should you only apply uh, updates to your main operating system including mobile phones, but you should also look at ensuring that any applications that you use, for example Microsoft Office, uh, Adobe Reader, things like that, are also patched and kept up to date. Any third party applications that you use should actually be kept up to date. Um, if they've got options for uh, automatic updates, enable that so you keep up to date. Now lastly, you should also have a look at any unused applications that you use. If you've got any applications in, you installed on your devices and you don't actually use them or they're no longer supported, you should really remove them, take them off. It just reduces that overall footprint of any potential compromise in the, uh, in the future. And that is it. Yeah, it's just a, a very quick intro into what cybersecurity is. I've been asked this question a few times uh, recently, so I thought I'd just make a quick little video about it and go from there. So if this video has been useful for you, you know, feel free to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you like to, to actually get more videos like this in the future. And if you've got any comments or anything that you'd like to see in the future being discussed about, you know, feel free to put it in the comments below the video and we'll go from there. And I'll see you next time.